testing. What's up, guys? You guys hear me? Moshi Moshi. What's up, guys? Done. All right. Yeah, I was up super late. We're just cranking through, like, ironing out the last things. It's always, always a bug. Um, not going to be perfect. I'm talking about Teal Street. It's not going to be perfect, but we're going to get you guys off the wait list. So that's what I'm working on. Um, let me tweet real quick that I'm live. And let's just do a quick, quick little analysis. Not much to talk about, but that's the plan. All right, do it. Cool, so um, recap from yesterday. First thing is we're, it's the weekend. Yeah, I know, I don't have Meow set up to warn you guys when I'm on mic, but I'm, I'm almost there. What's up, Victon? Okay. Um, so yeah, it's the weekend, right? I mean, you can almost tell it's the weekend by looking at the chart. Like if you just looked at this, this is, so there's two, there's two kinds of weekends. There is, there's this kind of weekend, right? And then there's this kind of weekend. Those are the only two weekends. It's either just flat grind or it's grind up basically, <laughs> at least recently. So anyways, um, we're getting this kind of weekend right now. Basically, it's just, there's, there's decent volume, Frag pointed out. It's not, the volume isn't actually bad, um, but there's just indecision. We're kind of right, we're right in the middle of the 50K. Um, nobody wants to sell, but people are afraid to buy because we've got so, we've gotten so many, you know, we basically haven't had a retrace. So, um, but I still don't think I, I, I would be betting on upside. If I had to go into my head, had to take a trade, I would still bet on upside. Um, at this point, I'll take a scalp long if I can get it today, if I can get anything down in this area. Um, we're high enough, we're sort of high enough above the bottom of this range that I feel, I would feel comfortable scalping Scalping this with a stop somewhere down here, maybe, or even somewhere over here, to be honest. I actually kind of like that better. So if I were just looking for, for trades to set up, resting bid type situation. To be honest, kind of like something like that, or even something like that. I would take this scalp, probably. Something like that. What's up, Blackbird? So yeah, I mean, honestly, that's all I'm looking for. I'm just looking for for, for if I can get like a scalp, something in here. Um, if we get a big dip, then I would start looking to actually get into a large position. Could I check Adam? Sure, I could check Adam. Um, again, once we start getting down here, right, I, I would scale in. I try to get an average entry down in this area, maybe with a stop somewhere like this, and that, that would be the trade for me if I'm looking at something to take with size. Everything else is just nothing. I'm not gonna fade, I'm not gonna fade this. Um, the first, again, I talked about this yesterday, the first place I'd look to fade, if I'm gonna fade at all, would be probably above 58. This would be the only place I might look for shorts, but even then, it's still risky. We could just totally, you know, blast through everything. I mean, it's possible. Um, that being said, you could off, you could hedge, definitely hedge or take off. Um, I still have my swing position running, so I'll probably size off most of my swing position here. I know it's exactly, everyone's waiting for the dip. So it's not like, it kind of doesn't feel like we're going to get it. That's part of why I'd be looking, I'm looking to buy this. This is kind of what I'm looking to buy right now, to be honest. Um.
post this on Twitter after. Hold on. Uh, you're kind of better off getting. Um, you're kind of better off getting a shallow, just anything shallow dip, and then um, with a with a tight stop loss. If it blasts through these, if it just nukes, right? If you just get get obliterated, that's not a big deal. You, I mean, you set your stop, you don't lose very much. What's up, Duffy? So you don't lose much, right? It's all good. Um, it does whatever it's gonna do, and then you try again with a with an actual sized up position. So in my opinion, this isn't this isn't a this isn't a this isn't a trade to take with size. This is just something to take because it's probably good enough. Uh, and then if we get really get down here, then maybe start looking to size up. But to be honest, I don't think you'll get anything down here. I I think you might get this today, and if you get it, I'll take it. <laughs> Not buying before twenty seven. Yeah, right, I know. All right, so that's my plan. Hey, Villa, Villa Lau, how's it going? Bart Life. I don't want to take 50. Yeah, so here's something I noticed. Um, every time we impulse through a magnet level, we rarely get a chance to retest it. Um, I can show you two really good examples where this happened throughout this bull market. And when I talk about impulsing through, I'm talking about breaking the magnet. So in this case, the magnet is um, 50K. Breaking through this round number, mental sort of resistance. We broke through it and then just totally catapulted up, right? Now we're in the 55Ks. So. I this th this kind of situation. Every time this seems to happen, you don't get your retest, and I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. If we look back at the first the first leg up above 20k when we broke 20k, you can see the same thing here. Um, I'm on the 12 hour now, but it's you can it still it still works. Okay, here we go. We broke, well, we actually just totally floated through it, but we, we, we broke out, right? Uh, here is, here's, here's 20 Ks like right here, okay? So we broke out through this all the way up to like 23, highs of 24. We barely retested here and then just kept going. Now we're obviously stalling for a while right now, but there's some, I mean, this stall here, pretty long time too. So I would say, can kind of use this as a reference if this if this is like uh, a fractal relative to what we're doing now you're not going to get much below maybe you know this kind of dip second time this happened was yeah you can see it here right i mean this was obviously the elon news here with this impulse um but even here, right? We 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 just here we go. Let's after the Elon news. Forget the Elon news. We're looking now at um. Here's fifty, right? Impulse through fifty, gets all the way up to like fifty three or whatever, and then you don't really get. I guess you kind of got a retest, but you're not getting anything down here, right? So again, I'm. I mean, I think at best, at best, you're gonna get a small retrace. So we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, I'll check Soul. That being said, it it'll be interesting to see. I I my my plan take take the take the small retrace with a tight stop. If it nukes through, then plan for a bigger a bigger dip. I might take this dip too, to be honest. I take probably. It's tricky. Honestly, I think the best thing to do is scale in. Just scale in here. Oops. Because you just don't know. Right? You just don't know what's going to happen. No revisit. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I think tricky. Everyone's waiting to buy the dip. I don't see. I just don't know if we need to get the dip before we take another leg up. Right? That's the That's the situation. So that's basically it. It's the weekend. I would say... Um, over the next day or two, I'm going to just buy, buy dips and then sell. I've got my swing position open. I'm not, I'm not trying to build a, a swing position right here. So anything I take right here, 
is going to be a uh, scalp. If we get something better, then I will hold for more upside. But if I, like I took a few scalps last night and it looked like we were going to break out, right? But I closed both of them. Um, I closed bo both of them on the breakout. So I think I closed, I took, <clears throat> I took this trade right here. Something like that, right? And I closed it, I closed it on the breakout on this breakout here, right? Uh, obviously we went all the way up to 55, but the point being, um, the point being is, is I'm not planning on trying to catch this breakout anymore because I, this is one of the things where I lost a lot of money last time we were at 50K. I would rather at this point just take small trades, tight stops here, and then leave my swing position open. I've got swing, I've got spot. Uh, the rest, this is for scalping. So that's all I'm focused on right now. This kind of like chop isn't good for building a, a swing. Accumulating a swing position here is probably not a great idea. I, unless you have no Bitcoin exposure. If you're really underexposed, then yeah, maybe you should start building a position. But if you already have spot and you have a, if you have a swing position or you're just exposed sufficiently, then I would say just leave that alone and focus on, um, focus on just catching scalps. This, there's no, this doesn't need to break out anytime soon. It could just chop for days or it could break down. It could, it could definitely do a fake out, you know, and then, and then catapult up. We'll see. Lots of indecision. I would say just be careful. Trade with low size here. I would look for just really shallow dips with tight stops. That's it. All right. Hey, Spec. How's it going? Yeah, I know. It was, uh, it was good. Definitely needed the time off. All right, let's look at, what are we looking at, Soul? Oh, what's that? Soul versus ETH? Huh. Don't have it. All right. So just eyeballing it, we weren't, I mean, without any context of the fundamentals or the overall bull market, this doesn't look like something I'd want to buy. And um, basically got your all time high, you got this absolutely insane run up here, right? You got this, this huge run up, then it, Sold off, sold off, and you got sort of a, a, a right shoulder, right? It's starting to roll. Uh, in my opinion, there is not any reason to buy this. Did you short it? Probably not, uh, especially because, like, it's already kind of, it, it's just hard to define risk. If you really want to short it, you can. I don't think shorting alts is ever a good idea. But buying is, I, I mean, I don't think that's a good idea at all. Um, you want to get good entries on alts. alts. Alts have the potential to run really far. So your goal isn't to just buy, you know, in the middle. Like, look, you're literally, if you buy right now, what? If you buy right here, what on earth are you buying? You're like in the middle of the range, you know? Um, the place to buy would have been, you know, this, maybe this order block or even this order block, right? So if you just draw these. Good bot. Um, those would have been the places to buy, in my opinion. Um, so I, I think if you're going to buy, I would wait for those. Um, I think there's just also, there's there's not just the chance of losing money, but there's also opportunity cost and where you put your money, right? You don't have infinite resources. So there's gotta be better looking, there's gotta be better looking things to buy right now because this does not look good. This just looks like it wants to roll over. Now, could it impulse up? Of course, absolutely. And could you feel like you missed out? Of course, but that's the game, right? You you take the you take the the, the trades that have the highest EV, you don't, just because it has high EV or just because something else, you know, doesn't look good, doesn't mean it can't break out. 
So five third, like forty, if if there was something, you're gonna, you know, I don't know. Like, I just don't see how you could take this trade and set a stop, right? Like, what do you do? You set a stop here. Where, where's your stop, right? Um, if you're already in it, I, I guess it depends on where you're in from. But, like, I don't see – there's no reason the stop isn't going to get run, right? So, like, what, what do you do, right? Before you know it, your stop loss is absolute trash. All right. Um, that's soul. Um, I don't – I wouldn't short it. But that's what I'm, yeah. What do you think about TLM? Lower high into higher high? Lower high into higher high. Uh, I don't think there's any reason a lower high has to lead to a higher high. My analysis is there's better things to buy. It doesn't necessarily have to just die right here. It definitely could leg up. But of all the things out there, this is not something that looks like it deserves to be bought, right? Just buy, there's got to be better charts out there. All right, what on earth? Okay. Um, I don't really know how to do analysis on this. What 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 am I even looking at? There we go. Uh, yeah, I have no advice. Probably, I mean, it does. It, sure, <laughs> you could like accumulate, I guess. Hope it does a thing. You could also just sell off to zero <laughs> venture gold. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Uh, the ticker, I don't know if that'll work. Venture gold, okay, venture gold. Um, this almost, okay, I know, I'm such a cynic. This almost looks like it wants to retrace down to the origin of this breakout. I hate to say it. Um, I would, or, or, or maybe just run the stops. I think if you can get a bit in here, you could try. Uh, but there is a decent chance that it just dips, right, and runs you down to the origin and then gives you... Once you get once you get kind of like below the fifty percent mark on a major a major impulse, there is a reasonable chance that you're going to retrace down to the origin of the of the pump before you consolidate. Then maybe you take off again, but I don't know. It also depends on why it pumped, and it depends on what adventure gold's got in store. I mean these 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 are really tied to whatever the game fundamental stuff that the developers are doing, it could pump at any second. Um, I think that you could try and take the trade. Let me look at the hourly. You could try and buy this dip. I, I would say, I would say this is probably where you're kind of looking at this point. I think there's a reasonable chance. This is pretty strong support. Um, I think you could buy this, right? I think that's actually a pretty good trade. You run these lows. You hit this support, and then ideally you bounce and you go back towards the highs. I'd say that's a pretty good trade. That is that would be my trade. Um, you could scale in whatever you want. Leave yourself a little bit of room below here. It's also really a liquid. It could wick. Please check a. Oh god. Ah. Okay, we're doing all. This is um. I'll do AVAX. I'll do AVEX and DOT, and then uh, that's it. Called CoinSat, I know, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, looking better. This is definitely looking better. Um, Where did it start? Yeah, so you're up. Obviously, you're up a ton. Is there is there any reason it is it should stop pumping? No, uh, not that I know of. 
you're basically kind of right here, right? You're at that level. Um, these are so tricky because they're alts. There's no reason they can't run. So like, let's just look at this, for example. I think this, I think that you use, if you use the replay tool and you can kind of like get, so watch this, okay? Just imagine we're now back in August, 23rd of August, okay? Now I'm going to, uh, what do I do? Step forward, yeah, right? So you're just going through, you're trading, right? And you're thinking like, oh yeah, it's gonna break out. Like, oh, I'm gonna buy the dip, right? So you buy this dip. I think this is it. This is the dip, right? And you set your stop right here. It looks great. You're targeting all time highs. You know, you buy, you buy right, you buy right now. You're thinking this is amazing. This is the dip. You give yourself a little bit of room, right? You keep playing, playing through. Price keeps doing its thing. Oh yes, I'm gonna make so much money. Woo! Then you're fucked. Right, I mean, this is what altcoins do, and then it's up. So this is, this is the problem. This is this is literally the this is the problem with alts. So you can do the same thing right now, right? You really need great entries. You need great entries. If you don't. <laughs> If you don't get an amazing entry on these things, you're probably gonna get fucked. So everybody looking to buy, everybody looking to bid this thing, they're just bidding, bidding, they think they're getting good entries and then they get absolutely obliterated on the actual dip. So you do the same thing now, right? You're trying to get a trade, you really wanna trade, you're, you know, you're trying to make money, you're trying to make money, so what do you do? You buy this, like why, why would this be the dip, right? I mean, it could be, but it, it also could not be. So in my opinion, I don't really trade alts, but if I had to say what you should be doing with alts is you should have a bunch of alts and you should basically set yourself up with really wide, really, really lucky entries. Give yourself room to get really good entries, either set alerts. So like, I would be looking to get in at like this area, right? I mean, that is, that's a dip to buy. Set alerts, whatever then get in here and then set this try and find a bunch of things to do this on so that way you're not waiting forever you set alerts or you set bids on 20 different things that you think are worth buying but you give yourself really good entry so you don't get fucked because buying this right now the chances that you don't get stopped out it's just so low so you basically it's not that i don't think it won't go up that i don't think if you're buying on leverage I don't see how you're going to not get stopped out. So that's basically it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right. Um, <laughs> thanks, Mountain. You're really, <laughs> I'm convinced. All right, what are we looking at? Let's just, I'm going to check out Dot and then that's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back to work. Ooh, okay. So now, now uh, we're getting interesting. So this, okay, fine, I'll do Adam too. This could absolutely, what is that, the four hour? Wait, what is going on with this? How is this, how is the four hour that? What the, what the, what the fuck is this? This just, is this just, <laughs> okay, hold on. On the hourly, on the hourly, we topped out at $36.06, right? But on the four hour, we topped out at $38.41. Oh my God, Binance is such a scam. It's unbelievable. Okay, never mind. This is calculated by TradingView. Okay, I guess that's part of it. Never mind. I don't know. I don't know what that means. It must be a TradingView thing. Let me see if there's a better thought. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god. All right, yeah. What has price history and isn't a fucking scam? Um I can probably have that. There we go. Sure. It's probably fine. 
USD. Well, I mean, USD and USDT chart are basically the same. Dot USDT. Okay, so dot USDT on what? Finance? Okay, there we go. There we go. Do so I think alts are cucked versus Bitcoin in the near future? I don't think they're necessarily cucked, but I definitely don't think they're the better bet, especially um, risk adjusted. You could make more money on alts, but not risk adjusted, I think. I think if you're adjusting for risk, Bitcoin is the superior thing to buy right now. Especially if you think there's a, a reasonable chance this all ends with a uh, an ETF approval at some point. An ETF approval on Bitcoin is going to absolutely send Bitcoin through the moon. And it's going to pull every penny out of alts. It's not that an ETF is bullet, is bearish for alts. ETF on Bitcoin would be bullish for alts. But it would be so much more bullish for Bitcoin that it will pull every penny out of alts and so they'll all just everybody's going to jump into Bitcoin. So I would expect an ETF approval to just cause alts to roll over and Bitcoin to just catapult. So if you think that's a reasonable chance, and I think it's not impossible, I think it's probably at some point going to happen, as well as just the fact that we're already we're already defying most fractal patterns from the past. At this point, I would be really trying to allocate into Bitcoin over anything else. That doesn't mean you can't, you don't have to sell your favorite altcoins. You got stuff you really like, you should hold it. But I would definitely be trying to get as much as you can afford into Bitcoin. <laughs> I know. Don't worry, China will ban Bitcoin again. Uh, okay, so. Uh, what do you, the moving average? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the, it's, uh, on the Discord, I believe. Oh, it's on here too. It's a free, it's just free. It's a free indicator. Uh, it works pretty well. It gives, it gives pretty reliable um, sort of bias, I think. And also it, you get, you get a lot of taps. Price tends to bounce off of it a lot. Not, I'm not, it's not my indicator. I don't know. I just found it years ago. Okay. Uh, dot looks pretty good actually for a breakout, to be honest. If you were going to break out trade anything, it would be, it would be, this, but here again is your issue. Your issue is the same problem. If we do it, let's do a replay on, um, let's do a replay on like the, right here. So this is the same thing, right? It looks, it does, you're, you're just chugging along, chugging along, right? And you think this is it. So you're like, okay, I'm gonna break out trade and you break out you break out trade here, right? Because it looks like it's going to take off. And then you get, do you survive? Do you survive? Nope, you're dead. Right? So this is the same problem. So this is, yeah, this is, it's the same issue. Now, I, I, it still probably could be worth the trade. Oh, fuck. There we go. Um, it could be worth the trade if you can get yourself a good, good risk definition here. So maybe maybe you take something like this. But it's tricky. If I was in dot, though, I would hold if I was already in from lower. I think you could take something like this, yeah. I don't think that's terrible. I, I think that probably this is gonna break out from here, if I had to guess, because this is gonna be the third time we're sort of like in this area. So if we if we just consider that this has been resistance, right? We're just in this resistance. And what does this line up with actually? I'm just this whole mess over here, right? So if we consider this is resistance, is this third attempt at it going to break it? Probably. Um if you have a cozy entry, absolutely you should hold. It looks it looks primed. If you're trying to get in now, tricky. But I think you could probably justify it. Again, I wouldn't I wouldn't do too much size, but yeah. Um probably it's probably likely this will break this time. All right. That's all I got. Um, can you show your indicators? Yeah, they I think they're all on on uh, the Discord. But basically there's that moving average. 
because that's this moving average. That's the uh, that's this green thing. Uh, this day, week, month guy, which all this thing does is um, show the daily, weekly, and monthly opens right here uh, on the chart. Which is pretty useful. It is. Here, it's this SBT and C1. Um, oh yeah, I have a, um, I have a FTTP open actually, because I do, I do think it's, it's gotta break out at some time, right? <laughs> Come on, man. I've been a believer for so long. A valuable community member. Speaking of FTT, I'm adding more. Okay, uh, yeah, this is this SBT and C day, week. Daily, weekly, monthly opens. This pivots is, uh, I think, built in pivots. Basically, all the pivots does is it just shows you the highs and the lows of these wicks, basically. You can see here, like 38.77. And then this VWAP is the built in VWAP. That's all. Uh, the VWAP you can see, um, it's easier to see on, there you go, it's this blue. Blue dots. That's it. Um, all right, I don't even, what is this? I forgot, what, what is this DLD thing? <clears throat> all right, last one, that's it. Um, looks bullish, but again, you don't have an entry. Like, you're up, right? You, you bought, if you, you bought once, you got fucked. You bought twice, you got fucked. Third time, fucked. You buy the fourth, the fourth impulse, it could go up, could go down, you know? I I don't know. I mean, I will say that we've kind of, you've kind of gotten higher highs here, right? Right? I mean, I guess this is kind of the same, right? Now you're up here. Do I, do I think, I mean, yeah, if I get into my head, it looks like it wants to do that. You can define your risk. Go for it. Probably, probably, I think it'll depend on what, how Bitcoin and alts interact too. Does Bitcoin pull dominance higher money out of alts? That's not going to help this stuff, but quick look at Sheeb for the lulls. Okay, last one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what can you do with Sheeb? Really, the only thing you can do with Sheeb is sort of, Set an alert. Just set an alert to try and buy something. Buy 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 something down here. Maybe try and sell something up here. But selling is tricky. I don't know. It's just ridiculous. That's it. All right, guys. That's all I got. I'm gonna eat breakfast and get to work. Cool. Thanks for hanging out. Peace.